guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're talking about all about mirrors today. Throughout history, humans have always known that mirrors have a dark mystical side to them. See, because mirrors have been used to contact entities, they've been used to see future events, as well as to receive higher spiritual knowledge. Mirrors have also been associated with witchcraft and evil spirits. From seven years bad luck to mirror mirror on the wall, our daily lives are full of spiritual references to mirrors. Where did these come from? Are they real? Today, we're gonna dive deep and find out the answers to these questions and more. Let's get started. So guys, we have to realize what mirrors really are. See, society has been programmed to believe that mirrors are just a reflective surface used for grooming yourself. And that's true, but it's a very, very minuscule amount of truth, okay? The real actual truth is that your reflection, when you look into a mirror, that's not just your reflection. That is your soul looking back at you from a higher dimension, okay? Because mirrors are a spiritual portal for entities to observe you and entities to visit you. Because mirrors spiritually are a mix between a one-way mirror and a stargate, okay? So one-way mirror being like, you know, those mirrors that the cops use when they have someone arrested and they're interrogating them and the person can't see through it, but the cop can see them. This is exactly how mirrors work in the spiritual world where entities can observe you through the mirror, but you can't see them. And in terms of the stargate, like the movie Stargate, so if you remember the movie, the guy, you know, they find the stargate in Egypt and the guy walks through it and it's sort of like transport immediately to another part of the universe. Spiritually, this is exactly how mirrors work. Okay, entities can watch you and they can literally step into your space through the mirror. This is why you should not have a mirror facing your bed when you sleep at night. Because obviously when you're sleeping, you're, you're vulnerable, you're exposed, right? So if demons can see that you're sleeping through the mirror, they can just literally hop right in to your space and do whatever they want to you. They can physically assault you, they can do all kinds of things. And then the same thing with placing a mirror against a, uh, facing a doorway. So when you place a mirror facing a doorway, demons have the green light just to come into your space. We have to realize, guys, that mirrors can be homes for evil spirits and gins. Hollywood makes several references to this. You know, with Candyman, you say Candyman five times and then he shows up, assaults you, possibly can kill you. The movie Mirrors where the guy was an ex-cop, he takes a job as a custodian at some factory place, and then he finds out that the mirrors have demons that are literally killing people. There's some truth to this. You know, this is why you should never buy a secondhand mirror or even get a secondhand mirror from a family member because if that person was using it for witchcraft or if they were just overall like a negative person, like just very depressed, anxiety, all that negative energy is gonna be trapped in the mirror and it's gonna affect you in a negative manner, right? I remember hearing about this story about this girl that loved antique furniture and she bought an antique mirror that was, you know, really nice or whatever. She put it in her place. All of a sudden, doors were slamming. Plates were breaking. But she had a lot, a whole lot of poltergeist activity. She had to get a priest in there, get rid of the mirror, do some, a lot of blessings, a lot of prayer to get rid of all this, all this negativity. So. Guys, we gotta be spiritually aware of what these things are and, and how to protect ourselves. Cause it can get quite dangerous out here. Mirrors can also be soul traps. So according to ancient Celtic beliefs, when someone passes away in a home, their soul could possibly be trapped in a mirror. So what they would do is whenever someone would pass away is they would cover all the mirrors in the home with a black cloth. So that way the soul can depart freely without being trapped. So the movie Mirrors, once again, makes a reference to this. At the end of the movie, the main character dies and then he wakes up, he thinks he's alive, but he notices that everything is reversed, right? Because in the mirror, everything's reversed. Right is left, etc. So he sees this and he looks in the mirror in the mirror dimension, we'll call it, puts his hand in the mirror and then you see the handprint in the real world in the mirror. Have you ever had a dream where you wake up, you brush your teeth, you're getting ready, all of a sudden you realize, oh snap, I'm still dreaming. Essentially, a dream within a dream. Have you ever asked yourself, 
why this happens? See, because when you're dreaming, your soul is literally leaving your body to go to the higher dimensions. And if you have a mirror in your room, your soul might confuse the mirror with the physical reality and jump into the mirror instead, where you end up in another dream, i.e. another dimension. All right, mirror magic. So before we get started, guys, I want to make a friendly reminder that magic is considered a major sin under God's eyes. I'm, I'm about to talk about it because this is for educational purposes only. You know, if you guys want the truth, I'm going to give you the full truth, but just know that there are consequences to these practices. And I do not wish for you to be punished in this life and in the afterlife. Let's get started. So when it comes to mirrors, there are forms of magic, very powerful magic that are associated with mirrors. So one of the forms is called mirror gazing. It's where you look at a mirror, and you have a relaxed gaze. So you don't blink, you're kind of just like relaxed, kind of just like staring at your reflection right into the eyes of your reflection. So what this does is it disassociates your soul from your body. And okay, you're gonna feel a vibration, your face is gonna morph, and then you're gonna go into another dimension, i.e. the astral realm. And from here, you can contact entities, receive higher spiritual knowledge, and see glimpses of the future. The movie Snow White makes a reference to this. So if you remember, the, the witch, the queen, she has this huge mirror that she calls upon. She invokes mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? And then this face appears that tells her about Snow White. So this face is a demon. And it is, when it tells her about Snow White, this is divination because this is secret knowledge that she otherwise wouldn't have access to. Right in my face, guys. Another form of mirror magic is mirror manifestation spells. So what you do is you look into a mirror and you repeat affirmations. So this could be like, I'm beautiful, I'm rich. And what this does is you're casting spells on yourself while the mirror is amplifying the energy to bring it into fruition quicker. All right, because what do mirrors do? Mirrors magnify energy, all right? You can feel this when you work out in front of a mirror versus not having a mirror. There's a major difference, all right? Same thing if you dance in front of a mirror. You're a lot more into it versus no mirror. And since we're on this topic, a lot of people like to do the deed in front of a mirror. It excites them, it makes them feel sexy, etc. So we have to realize, guys, that demons can not only observe you, they can visit you through the mirror, especially in the bedroom. So if they see that you and your partner are doing a deed in front of the mirror, they're gonna feed like crazy because again, the mirror magnifies that, magnifies that energy. So they're gonna hop in through and they're gonna have a feast on you and your partner doing the deed. If you have a mirror in your bedroom, either take it out or cover it with something because you definitely don't wanna have visitors while you're having that sacred moment with the person that you love. So let's talk about the history of mirrors. So mirrors, guys, are really old, all right? They're older than most of human history, right? The oldest mirrors date four to 5,000 years, and they were found in Turkey. They were made out of obsidian, which is a black volcanic rock that you can sort of polish into a reflective surface and to your reflection. So funny enough, the Aztecs were able to develop the same type of mirrors, and they would use these mirrors for divination purposes to contact their, their gods, lowercase g. This is where the term black mirror came from. A mirror that was black where you could see the future. It started off as obsidian mirrors and then the Egyptians developed copper mirrors. So copper, then bronze, and then finally the Romans developed the glass mirrors in the third century AD. So when it comes down to the Romans, the Romans love mirrors. You're gonna see mirrors in all sorts of their pottery, their paintings, all that stuff. So the Romans had a ton of beliefs when it came to mirrors. So the Romans actually believed that their gods, lowercase g, could observe them through mirrors. And they also deemed damaging a mirror extremely disrespectful to these deities. They also believed that our reflection was our soul looking back at us and that mirrors could capture souls. When it came down to broken mirrors, so the Romans believed that a broken mirror equated a broken soul because mirrors reflects our soul and captured our souls 
So if the mirror was broken, our soul was broken. And it was seven years because the Romans believe that our lives play out in cycles of seven years. So if you broke the mirror, that means your soul would be broken, i.e. in an oppressed state, until the following cycle of seven years. This is where the belief came from. Guys, if you're loving this knowledge that I'm imparting for you, please like, comment, and subscribe. A whole lot of research goes into these videos and I'm just trying to help people out here. So thank you for your support. I appreciate y'all. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Guys, the dark powers in charge of our society are constantly showing us the truth in our faces and masking it as fiction. There's countless movies and kid shows that openly portray secret occult knowledge that goes way over most people's heads. In the music video, Crawling by Linkin Park, we see the band inside of a mirror watching a girl while she's living in a traumatized state. See, what they're doing is they are alluding to spirits watching us through the mirrors. Constantine. So as we know, mirrors can trap evil spirits. In the movie Constantine, portrays this during the, the opening exorcism scene. Mirrors are also to believed to be a weapon against demons for they hate the sight of themselves. And if someone was demonically possessed, it would be a great way to hurt the demon or at least distract it for a short while. Goosebumps. In the kid show Goosebumps, there's an episode called Let's Get Invisible. And Goosebumps is giving you a look into the mirror realm. So in this episode, the kids find this magical mirror that can transport them to another dimension and make them invisible in the physical realm. Here, you can see the boy running in the mirror realm, which appears to be the astral realm, where images and entities seemingly appear out of nowhere. This is very similar to how dreams work, where the reality is constantly shifting and moving. Mirrors are weapons of pride. Guys, mirrors are used by Satan as a form of idolatry, where you idolize yourself instead of glorifying God. This is especially common for women, but affects many men as well. Worship of oneself is vanity. See, the story of Narcissus is, is a Greek poem. A narcissus was a young man in ancient Greece that was impossibly handsome and could never find anyone that met his standards. But one day, he was by a pool of water and saw his reflection, and he was entranced by his beauty and couldn't stop looking at himself. And he loved his reflection so much, he couldn't leave, so eventually he died of thirst because he refused to not look at himself even for a second. See guys, vanity is just another form of pride. The original sin that got Lucifer kicked out of heaven. I'm gonna ask y'all something real quick. What's the only part of your body that can be used as a mirror? It's your eyes. Your eyes are the mirrors of your soul and they reflect everything that is hidden from within. And just like a mirror, your eyes reflect the person that's looking into them. Guys, so I've noticed something that we need to talk about in regards to mirrors. So if you go to any metropolitan city in the world, really modern city, what do you see the skyline covered with? You see them with skyscrapers, okay? These skyscrapers, what are they mostly made out of? They're made out of mirrors, reflective surfaces, glass, okay? What did we mention earlier in this video, multiple times? That demons, jinns, can travel through mirrors openly. The last 30 years have seen an explosion of these buildings everywhere in the world. Okay, so what does this mean? This means demons have been, are openly traveling through mirrors all across the world, effortlessly. And this also coincides with mental illness exploding the last 30 years. It's not a coincidence, guys. And on top of that, I want to bring up, if you remember earlier I mentioned 
you know, black mirrors made out of obsidian. They'd be used for d dividing purposes and to contact entities. Okay. I want you to reach into your pocket right now. And what do you have in there? What is it? Oh, it's one of these. What is this? This is a black mirror, guys. It's reflective. Okay. So this is done by design. All right, the dark powers that lead our society did this on purpose because 20, 30 years ago, what were phones? They were, you know, they were home phones. They, they had all these buttons. They didn't have any, really any reflective surface. But the last 10 years or so, hmm, coincidence? Definitely not. Uh, what TVs as well, 30 years ago, they were round tubes that were gray, okay? Nowadays, everything flat, everything black, okay? So what this accomplishes is it leaves you exposed for demons 24 seven coming through. We can have it in your life again, last 10 years, especially last 10 years since these bad boys have been invented. What's been going on? Massive explosion in mental illness and other stuff too. homelessness, uh, stuff that I, I don't want to mention. Use your imagination. It's not a coincidence guys. All right. Now more than ever, we need a relationship with God. Okay, if you don't have one, I highly recommend that you start praying as often as you can and ask God for protection against demons because they are running rampant right now. And, you know, it has a lot to do with many things. There's a lot of factors behind it, but mirrors being everywhere, literally, is definitely one of the factors. So, you know, if you're living a life of sin right now, you, we, we gotta try to turn this around because it's bad right now, it's gonna get worse. We gotta repent, we gotta try to live a life of righteousness and pray as often as you can because when you pray, it gives you protection. God literally is shining his light on you and it's gonna protect you from these demons to influence you and, and do bad things to you. Okay, now more than ever, guys. It's, 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 it's time. It's time we as a society change our ways because if we don't, it's not gonna be good. But anyways, I'm, uh, I'm leaving on a positive note. Thank you so much, guys. I really had an amazing time really researching this topic. It's super cool. It, it's super scary learning about this, but honestly, if you know, you avoid certain things and you have a good relationship with God, you're going to be fine. Nothing to worry about. All right. God bless. Peace. Mm -hmm.